Earlier this week, the state reported the death of a teenager in Cook County. Are you familiar with this case? If so, is this the state's first teenage death? And can you tell us if the teenager in question had underlying conditions? Okay, we're going to get a definition now of how you can determine whether or not someone died with COVID. Very simple. I don't have that information at my uh, disposal at this time. I know um, we have had people uh, of all age groups die. I just want to be clear in terms of the definition of people dying. Okay, here comes the definition of death by COVID. Of COVID. So the case definition is, is very simplistic. It means at the time of death, um, it, it was a COVID positive diagnosis. That means no matter how you die, as long as you were positive for COVID when you died, you are a COVID death. Even if you got in a car wreck or you fell off a cliff, for whatever reason that you died, as long as you had COVID, it's counted as a COVID death. Listen. So that means that if you were in hospice and had already been given you know, a few weeks to live, and then you also were found to have COVID, that would be counted as a COVID death. It there it was. Okay. She's, she's going to make it more simple for us. means that if, um, it technically, if even if you died of a clear alternate cause, but you had COVID at the same time, it's still listed as a COVID death. So, so technically, even if you died of an alternate cause, if you had COVID when you died, it's called a COVID death. You wonder why the numbers are messed up. We have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. There is no travel ban on them. There is no ban on, you know, they had the Muslim ban. There is no white guy ban. So what do we do about that?